college <laughs> soccer player is headed to the World Cup qualifiers with the Philippines. Lauren Winfrey has the story. It's Bianca Bustamante ahead of Jess Edgar. One of F1 Academy's fresh faces is Bianca Bustamante. Bustamante crosses the line. Uh, you should keep an eye out for the women's national soccer team from the Philippines. She was very focused, calm, at four hole. Voilà, the tactics was to change a bit the position, yeah. to put more pressure. And Kamusta mga kaproud? Today's video episode ay pag-uusapan natin ang ilan lamang sa mga Filipina kababayan natin na hindi lamang sobrang nakaka-proud kundi mga history maker pa sa larangan ng palakasan. Hi, I'm Bianca Bustamante. I'm a McLaren Development Driver in the F1 Academy and I'm so happy to be joining the Papaya family. Simulan natin sa up-and-coming Pinay Racing Driver na si Bianca Bustamante. Mula W Series noong 2022 ay malaking improvement nga ang taong 2023 para kay Bianca. Apat na podium, isang pole position at dalawang panalo ang kartada nito sa nakaraang 2023 F1 Academy Season. This is the line to take her second win in F1 Academy. The Prima team celebrate with smiles all round. A second win of the season for Bianca Bustamante, who is happy, emotional about one. The Philippines will go crazy for that. Kaya naman, muli natin narinig ang pambansang awit sa racing world. Hindi ito biro achievement, mga kaproud. Kaya naman, sabay-sabay nating palakpakan at isigaw na proud kami sa'yo, Bianca. At hindi lamang iyan ang highlight ng 2023 season ni Bianca Bustamante. Dahil siya lang naman ang first female driver signed to the McLaren Driver Development Program. Makakasama lang naman niya sa F1 family ng McLaren sila Lando Norris at Oscar Piastri. Malit na bagay, di ba ka-proud? Subaybayan din natin at suportahan ang iba pa nating mga kababayan na lumalaban para sa kanilang pangarap na F1 seat kagaya ni Zach David. Mabuhay kayong lahat at nandito lang kami susuporta sa inyong mga pangarap. Gaya nga ng sinasabi ni Bianca mga kaproud sa buhay dapat ay It's not your lead, just do what you know how to do it enough. And uh, never back down never what? Never give up! Never back down never what? Never give up! Hi, I'm Alex Iyala. I'm a Filipino tennis player and these are the things I'm G4. Ang susunod nating isa pang history maker, Pinay athlete, ay ang tennis player na si Alex Iyala. Nagtapos lamang siya sa Arafan Natal Academy. At alam mo ba, na sa edad na labing walo, ito na ang kanyang mga history making achievement, mga kaproud. Sensation Alex Ayala makes history as she becomes the first Filipino to win a Grand Slam singles championship at the US Open Juniors. Siya lang naman ay number 2 rank ITF Junior noong October 6, 2020. At career high singles ranking naman sa WTA ay 185. Itong pinamataas na ranking ng isang Pinay female athlete singles player sa history ng WTA o Women's Tennis Association. Junior Grand Slam sa singles title at nanalo rin siya ng dalawang bronze medal noong Asian Games isa sa singles event at isa sa doubles mixed The Philippines made history at their first Women's World Cup with their first goal and first win Serena Bolden scored the historic winner in the 24th minute. But, you know, it wasn't just me. It was it was the entire team who put their work in tonight to help me achieve this. So it was it was all it was all of us. 
Kung history lang naman ang pag-uusapan, hindi magpapahuli ang Malditas o Philippine Women's National Football Team. History na ang mapabilang ang ating pambansang kopanan sa mga bansang lumalaban sa Women's World Cup. Pero ang makagol. At manalo. Kontra sa home team ay talaga namang nakaukit na sa kasaysayan. During their first win, after holding up under pressure to shock co-host New Zealand 1-0 in Wellington. Sapagkat ito lang naman ang number one sport sa buong mundo. It's so real. It's, it's a dream come true. It's like telling the Philippines that you can do it. You can do it, Philippines. You can play football. You belong to the world. At ang mapag-usapan, ang Pilipinas ay talagang sobrang achievement para sa ating women's football team. For all the other girls out there, for all the girls who are here to do the same, I feel like I'm speechless right now, but I'm really over the One nineteen, one twenty-four, and an Olympic record, not only for a lift but overall. One two seven was the lift. Two two four overall. Heidelin Diaz, doesn't she just love being a gold medalist? At siempre special mention ang nagiisang gold medal ng Pilipinas sa history ng Olympic Games na hindi magawa ng Pilipino. Dahil siyempre isang Pilipina ang nakapagbigay sa atin yan, ang weightlifting Olympic gold medalist na si Heidelin Diaz. Napakasarap pakinggan ang pampansang awit natin na pinapatugtog lalo na sa isang sports competition dahil ito ay resulta ng iyong sakripisyo at pagod para ipresenta ang ating bansang Pilipinas. Saludo rin kami hindi lamang sa mga babaeng atletang Pilipino kundi sa lahat ng mga atletang Pinoy at sa lahat ng Pilipino sa buong mundo na taas noong inire-representa ang Pilipinas saan mang sulok ng daigdig. It's just like echoing throughout the stadium so that's gonna live with me for the rest of my life. I feel like electric honestly. We, we felt so much energy from the crowd. Hi. What a powerful moment. 94-97 were our numbers in the snatch. 119-124. And a job well done for Bianca Bustamante.